five past six. Just about to start my first workout of the day. 10K. Get up, get out of bed, get it done. 25 minutes, 49 seconds. 10K. <coughs> Half you are still on, in bed. That's workout number one of three completed for today. And it's only just gone half six. I'm currently not working because of lockdown. But if I was at work, I'd still have an hour before I need to set off. So we're going to work out number two, 20 minutes of hit and then the shower. Right, now it's time to start work out number two. Right, it's only been 10 minutes since I got off to cross trainer. Quickly answer some business emails and get on with it. Get on with work out number two while she's still warm, whilst everyone's still in bed. Like I said, if I was working today, I'd still have 45 minutes I'll need to leave. It gives me time to do this 15 minute workout, then have a shower and go to work. All right, sweet. So I've been up an hour and I've done two workouts. I'm going to put it into my fitness pal and see how many calories roughly I've burnt already. I've had no breakfast yet, not even a cup of tea or coffee. Get up, get early, go after it. I put on 40 kilos a couple of years ago. I've lost half of that weight now. I need to lose the other 20 kilos. It took me four weeks to lose a stone. You can do it as well. It's my favourite part of the day. So two workouts in, still have nothing to eat. It's uh, 8 o'clock now, so after I finish my workouts, I answered some emails, uh, did a bit of housework before waking up the kids. And I'm just going to have coffee, quiet 10 minutes to myself, and then I'll wake up the kids. Right, okay, so it's uh, 8 o'clock. I finished uh, my last uh, workout about 45 minutes ago so I'm two workouts in and it's uh, only 8 o'clock in the morning so this is you know, me telling you why I'm doing it right? so I'm fat I want to I want to lose weight and I I want to compete in kickboxing again so you know that is my why and I'm very lucky where I've got you know a really really good set of friends my wife's really supportive and yes, we are in lockdown right now, but it doesn't mean I'm going to sit on my backside and do nothing. So, you know, you've got two choices and situations where your back's up against the wall. You can either give up or you can crack on, right? And I'm unable to work at the moment because my business has been closed because of the pandemic. So I've got, you know, more than enough reason to sit around and feel sorry for myself. I'm losing horrendous amounts of money, but... I've took this opportunity to better myself. When I set up my business uh, nearly six years ago, you know, I would walk around 80 kilos and I would fight at 76 kilos. Now I'm currently walking around at just above 100 and I've already lost six kilos. Well, I've lost a stone, so 6.6 kilos. In four weeks I've lost that. And I'm making this because my wife said, I should really you know this it's not something I really wanted to do so I think it's a bit cheesy but she wanted me to uh, put this up to show other people who have uh, dietary issues like I do I've got um, diverticular disease and colitis and you know I have figured out how and what and when I should eat for me, for my body, for my issues. So, you know, this isn't any dietary advice at all. Like I said earlier, I'm, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, you know, I'm no expert at, at this stuff. But, it, you know, it works for me. And when I opened up my business and 
you know, my weight stayed exactly the same and I went on a vegetarian diet and I ballooned up on 40 kilos and uh, ended up in hospital, I was in like, severe pain, I could barely walk and uh, that's when I found out I had diverticular disease and colitis and eating the diet I was at the time was the worst thing for it. I was living off of lentils, beans, rice, oats, you know, all stuff that is good for you. But when you have certain issues with your um, intestines, they are the worst things for you, unfortunately. And uh, I had to go back to a, um, a full diet, you know, eat, incorporating meat again. And I, I did lose 10 kilos straight away. But I've hovered around the 110 kilo mark since then. And... You know, I've been in and out of training, in and out of training, but work's always got in the way. But I think that was me making excuses. So, you know, I'm taking this opportunity in this third lockdown now to do something about it. The other two lockdowns, I was lucky. I managed to get a temporary job. This time around, I wasn't. And I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to sit and complain. I'm not going to whinge. I'm not going to make the situation worse. The situation's already bad. And you've got two choices how you can deal with that. You can sit around and mope and weep and you will make that situation worse. Or you can go, right, <clears throat> I currently can't do my day job. I haven't managed to find a temporary job, but I have all this free time that I can utilize and do something with. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, a lot of people struggle to keep up with exercise and diet and you know I'm I can't tell you the best way to make sure you keep up with it but what works for me is I'm very lucky I've got a supportive group of friends I've got another friend uh, I'm not going to say his name he might not want to be named he's in a similar position to me he was he was slimmer than me and he put on a lot of weight and he's trying to lose it. So we'll send each other pictures of, um, so I'll send him a picture of the 10k I've just done or the 20k or the 30k I've done a handful of times on uh, the running machine. I'll send him that picture and say, oh, I've just done this. He'll send me a picture of, you know, him doing 100 kilometers on his bike and, uh, you know, we'll send that in a WhatsApp group with the rest of our friends. They don't expect us to send them every day. But if we stop sending them, they would soon say, what are you doing? Why aren't you working out? And that's just accountability. It's not It's not an ego thing. It's not, oh, look at me, I've exercised. Ooh, I'm so cool. It's nothing like that. It's, you know, you can't go to the gym at the moment. You can't work out with your friends at the moment. It's not allowed. But if you can take a picture of your workout, or eat, even if you just make a 30 second video afterwards, you drip in with sweat, and you you know you send that to someone, send it to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, one of your friends, or like me and my friends do, you send it in the group. And it's accountability. And not just that, when your friends say, oh, go on boy, you managed to do 20k, why don't you try to do 25 tomorrow? It pushes you on and it gives you that you know, extra little bit of motivation. But you know, it's I'm rambling on a bit now, but I just want to tell you my why and my how, basically, and I've, I've rambled on, but you know, my why is I want to lose weight and I want to fight again. My how is diet and exercise and sending pictures of uh, my workouts to my friends keeps me accountable for my actions. Consistency, accountability, and you, know, you can't go wrong. Quarter to one, it's my first meal of the day, I've been up since half five and I've already done two workouts. It's just turkey mince, some uh, sweet corn and peppers and just a side of veg. It's not a massive meal by any means, but I'm not really that hungry. But I need to eat because I've got at least one more workout to fit in today. You know, I've not put this into my fitness palette, but I've weighed it all and I'll uh, put that on screen in a second.
So as you can see from uh, my fitness pal, I didn't have a huge amount of calories with my lunch. But there's a reason behind that. I'm a nighttime eater. That's I don't eat in the day, uh, to be honest. And that is also my biggest downfall. So that's why now I, I track my calories. I see how much I've got left to eat at dinner. Regardless of how much exercise I do, I will only have 1,700 calories. You know, if I burn calories, I don't see that as I can eat more. I stick to 1,700. So, you know, it means I can have a decent dinner later on. And if I am hungry, I can have another snack. And I won't be going over my calories, which is brilliant. Eating late at night doesn't make you fat. Eating too many calories makes you fat. Workout number three of the day. We're going to do shuttle runs with exercises in between. And uh, after every three, we're going to have a quick little break so the kids don't get exhausted. Right, you ready? I'm Alina. They all know. Exercise number three done for the day. It's not even uh, it's the time now. It's only just gone four o'clock. So third exercise in the day. I want to get a resistance session in. Uh, probably after dinner now. Uh, so that's three sessions in one day already. Half hour session on the cross trainer. 20 minutes a hit and just 15 minutes now. But it works. That's my dinner for the night. If you look at my fitness pal, I've only had 612 calories. My dinner comes in at 424, so I've got loads of calories remaining for the day. Now that's a big dinner, and it's probably not going to be the last thing I eat tonight. I'll probably have a protein shake. I've not had much protein today, and I've exercised three times. But yeah, it's a big dinner, and it's not many calories. Right, yeah, so uh, that's me done for the day. I've managed to work out three times, I've had uh, lunch, I've had dinner, you know, although um, my dinner was big, it wasn't very high in calories, my lunch was decent, wasn't very high in calories, I'm full, I will be having a protein shake later um, before I go to bed, I'll probably have that two, three hours before I go to bed, like I said earlier, I'm not a dietitianist, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a PT, I, I'm a... I'm a former boxer and kickboxer at an amateur level who just wants to fight again. I'm nearly 32 and I just needed to um, lose the weight so I could get back in the ring one or two more times. Now I made myself fat, I've got to lose the weight. And with using MyFitnessPal, it's a free app you can download on your phone. You can track your calorie intake very accurately. It gives you I'd probably say a rough estimate on how much you've burnt. As long as you put your height and weight in correctly, it'll give you a decent rough estimate. And, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And, uh, you know, I hope this has helped someone. You know, even if it just has helped someone go, oh, I want to try hit 10,000 steps a day, or, you know, I don't need a cheeseburger for lunch, I can have something else. And, you know, you have to be accountable. I got fat because I wasn't being accountable and I'm going to lose the weight because I am being. <clears throat> if you track your calories, track your exercise, it's really quite simple and you don't have to live off salads and 
rice and chicken and broccoli. As long as you're in a calorie deficit, you're in a calorie deficit, you'll lose weight. Right, thank you very much. If you want to see more of these uh, videos or you want me to post another one in a couple of weeks time, see how I'm getting on, let me know in the comments below. And if you're into your boxing, you know, hit the subscribe button and uh, you can start listening to our boxing podcast as well. <clears throat> Thanks very much. Peace.